Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and remove records from a collection in Power Apps. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, Teams, and SharePoint videos, feel free to subscribe. We'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so in this video, we're going to add and remove records from a collection. So I have a blank power up here with a blank screen. So in my case, I'm just going to add a couple employee records to a collection. I'm going to display the collection on the screen and then I'm going to show you how to remove the items from the collection. So to start, let's go ahead and add some text labels on the left hand side. So on the left hand side, it's gonna be my input right hand side of my screen, I'm going to display the information. So on the text for the label, this is just going to be under employee information. Let's go ahead and capitalize it. Go ahead and make this a little bigger and make it bold. So enter employee information. I'm just going to create a few input boxes. So let's go ahead and add a text label here. And I want to collect the first name of the user. So first name. And then let's go ahead and add a text input box. So first name. Uh, go ahead and remove the default. I don't want anything to be showing here in case a user accidentally submits this with the text input. Okay. So let's go ahead and rename the input box. So we'll go ahead and call this input first name. Uh, you can rename the label if you want to. It's not really needed because we're not going to reference that later. So I just copied um, these two using control C, control V. And I'm also going to collect the last name of the user. And along with that information, let's go ahead and Collect their favorite hobby. And I'm going to give them a few choices to choose from. So hobby. And again, I just copied and pasted one of these labels so I don't have to recreate it. For this one, I'm going to use a combo box. And users will be able to select a few items. So in the items of the combo box, I'm going to do a hard bracket here because I can give it a few items to display. So in my case, let's go ahead and add reading to the hobbies. We can also add sports to the hobbies. And let's say you want to add exercise to the hobbies. So users will be able to select one of these. I'm going to not allow multiple selections here. Let's make the code a little easier. And I'm also going to add a sort on these items based on the values, so they display in alphabetical order. If you didn't know how to do that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just rename these input boxes. So input last name, combo box. Just do CMB hobby. Keep the name simple on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and add the bun. And this is going to be where I add the employee to the collection, so add to collection. So let's go ahead and add some information here. Michael, Alex, and let's say my favorite hobby today is sports. Very interested in sports. Uh, okay, so the user enter in this information. So let's go ahead and add it to a collection. So on the bun, go ahead and start coding. So collect information entered by the user. Okay, so for this statement, we will be using the collect. So I want to collect a piece, all the information the user entered and add that to my collection. So let's go ahead and collect um, DOL employees and you can rename that collection, whatever you want. Do the curly bracket so we can iron in some information. First name, input first name dot text. Okay, and then I want to collect the last name as well. So last name, input 
last name dot text and since we labeled everything easy to read so hobby this will be cmb hobby dot selected dot value let's go ahead and close this up so if i click on this button it will add this information to my collection i don't want to do that just yet because if i if i click on this button these fields will remain the same and if they're entering multiple people, you can get duplicates if you don't erase what's in these boxes. So let's add a little reset. So reset the input and combo boxes. So reset input first name, reset input last name, and then reset DMB hobby. So when I click on the button, Select the information, reset the boxes. And let's also go ahead and send a notification to the users saying we've added this to the collection. So notify, so let's just notify. And then we add some text here. Information has been added to the collection. And go ahead and close that up. Add a comma here because depending on the notification, you can change if it's green, red, yellow, or just a information notification. So in my case, I want to do success. It will display a nice green banner at the top. So notify the user. All right, so I think we're good to go here. We're going to collect the information, reset the boxes, and then notify the user. So let me go ahead and add Michael Alex and sports to my collection. Information has been added to the collection. And if I double click on the collect, you can see we actually captured the information. Let's go ahead and capture another employee. So let's say Jim. And let's give him the last name Smith. And let's say he's big into reading. Go ahead and add him to our collection. So now these users are in our collection. Let's go ahead and display it. Let's go ahead and add a vertical gallery. And I'll make a blank vertical gallery. And let's go ahead and drag this over to the right hand side. So for the items of my gallery, I want to change this to my collection. So it's going to be whatever I name the collection. In my case, it's COL employees. And since I made a blank gallery, we have nothing showing here yet. So let's go ahead and add some labels here. So as you see now, we have Michael and Jim appearing here. I'm going to make the template height smaller and the text bigger so you'll be able to see better. So let's go ahead and navigate to gallery. The template size right now, it's got like 280. We don't need that. Um, let's go ahead and change this to 80. And template padding's fine. Everything looks fine. So we have our first name here. Let's go ahead and make this font a little bigger for everyone to read. Well, we have Michael and Jim in my collection. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and add a label to the top of the collection. So we have our gallery here. Let's go ahead and add a label. Actually, let me delete that. I'll just copy the label on the other side, paste it over here, and reuse it to save us some time. So current collection. And let's go ahead and give this gallery a border. There we go. So we have Michael here. And let's go ahead and copy this label right here. Paste it. So now we have two labels in here. I'll just add this in the middle right here. And for this text, uh, the first name over here is this item dot first name. In my collection, I named the other one last name. So this will be this item dot last name. And then I also want to display their hobby. And let me go ahead and just rename these on the left hand side so it's easier for everyone to read. Label, first name, label, last name. And you can position these with like different widths and everything, but for a simple video, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to copy that label add it there and now let's go ahead and display their hobby 
So we have the first name, last name, and then we also have their favorite hobby. So that is our current collection. So let's go ahead and add some more users here. Let's say we have Rose, Brown, and her favorite hobby is reading. And let's go ahead and add one more user. So we can do Lisa, um, Purple, and her favorite hobby is exercise. So we have all these users in our collection. Let's say I wanna go ahead and remove one of them because I entered it in on accident. So let's go ahead and navigate over to our gallery. Let's click on a, let's click on one of the labels we created. So when I add a new um, component, it's going to display in the gallery. So let's go ahead and look up trash. I usually use this icon whenever I wanna do a delete or remove action because users usually correlate garbage with like removal, I think, and it's been working. <laughs> All right, so we have our trash icon in the gallery right now. Just going to make the width and height 48, so it's a little smaller. And let's go ahead and make this icon red. So we have a red trash can here. So when I select this, I want to remove this record from the current collection. Because let's say I added something by accident. So with the on select for this icon in our gallery, so remove current record from collection. And this is just a comment. So if another developer goes in my app, they can see what I was doing there. I like to leave comments in my code now. So let's go ahead and remove, use the remove function here. And I wanna do that on my COL employees. So whatever your collection name is. And I'm just going to do this remove this item so i want to remove the whole item so when i click on this it's going to remove it from my collection so let's say i entered in jim smith by accident i go ahead and click on this trash con icon he is now removed from our collection so i can add people here so let's say that was a mistake removing him jim smith exercise add to collection then I go ahead and remove them. So that is how you add and remove records in a collection and power ups. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.